guys, it's Melanie and today we are going to do the homeschool tag. So if you're new to my channel, I don't normally do a lot of tags, but we do homeschool so I wanted to do the tag. Um, I saw this gathered nest do the tag. I love her channel and I really liked the tag so I wanted to do a tag or do the tag because I have a lot of questions or a lot of people ask me questions rather. Um, about why we homeschool and things like that, so I figured I would um, do the tag, and then I have a whole other video about why we homeschool. I have a video about um, us making this room, and then a whole tour of like his homeschool nook. This is actually a closet, was a closet in my office, and now it's his homeschool nook. So I have all of our homeschool stuff. The whole playlist is linked below. And if you know any awesome. Um, homeschool moms to follow please let me know in the comments below because I like to follow you know other homeschool moms so anyway I'm rambling let's get to the video okay so this is the homeschool tag I must say there's also a different homeschool tag homeschool 2016 I might do that one if I do a link below anyway this is the one the original one so number one why are you homeschooling now I get this question a lot more than I ever thought I would. People that I hardly know are asking me this question as if my son's education really is why it's none of your business. You know what I'm saying? It just irritates me so bad. But anyway, we we're homeschooling for multiple reasons. Um, one reason is I'm not a huge fan of public school. I'm also not a fan of private school because most, at least all the ones around here, are religious and I don't think that religion should be part of the like school schooling if um, that's a thing that you think and you believe in that's like that's perfectly fine I'm all for you know church and all that stuff I just don't think it should be in with religion because sometimes they are unwilling to teach theories because they don't believe in them even though it's just a theory and they don't teach it as fact at least they're not supposed to um, but I just felt like homeschool was the best um, option for my son and his needs. He also is starting um, kindergarten early. He is four um, and he's going to be starting early um, depending on your school district and different things like that and how in your state and how you have to do homeschooling and different things like that. Um, that might uh, differ if you can start early or not and then actually consider it, you know, actual schooling. Um, we live in Ohio so we are able to do that and he's able to start early. Um, so we did that. Um, I was homeschooled for the last three years of school, which is kind of the opposite of everyone else. I started homeschooling sophomore year of high school um, so that I could work full time. And because the um, homeschool, it was more like a charter school I went to, um, I was able to take um, college classes through the college that I wanted to go to and I could not do that in public school. So um, I liked it. Um, we do travel a lot, as you know, but if my son suddenly, you know, in the next couple years wants to go to public school, I'll certainly let him do that. Um, we just feel like homeschool is the best option right now. So now that I've dragged on that question for like a full 10 minutes of this video, question number two is what do your children think of homeschool? Um, my son loves the idea. He um, has a couple classes like outside of our house. The first one is um, he goes to speech therapy, which isn't necessarily academic. Um, he goes to speech therapy um, because he has a small hearing problem. Um, he's also missing two front teeth because he had a complication um, because I had an issue when I was pregnant with him. The doctors didn't know at first and it caused some issues um, with his teeth. So lots of trips to the dentist in order to prevent anything from happening, but he does not have two front teeth. So um, we take in the speech just to make sure like he can speak um, very articulately. He doesn't have any issues with speech. Other adults can hear him perfectly fine, but it's more of like a, uh, it's just, there's a study shown that a lot of people that do uh, speech therapy as children are more well-spoken and do better in life later on. So we chose to do that just to be on the safe side, I guess. And he loves it. If he hated it, it would be a different story. He loves it so much. So anyway, he does that. Um, I have a whole video on speech therapy and it's linked below if you want to watch it. But anyway, um, he does that um, one day a week and then he goes to a bunch of different classes at the library and then um, we're starting to sign him up for other classes and other academic stuff and then he has soccer um, aside from academically but he loves having his own little nook he loves having school at home and he said he didn't want to go to school outside because I did talk with him he's the only 
other person aside from my husband that I took his opinion into consideration whenever we decided homeschooling and he wanted to have homeschool and if, I mean obviously it's my decision and what I think is best for him but I did ask him his opinion and that's just what he wanted also he likes like having school at home all right totally dragging this out is uh, number three is your extended family supportive I have to say that it does not matter to me if anyone outside of my household is supportive I know that might sound like bitchy for lack of better words um, but it's like under our little umbrella it's a little bubble it's me my husband and our two children hopefully a whole bunch more soon um, but I I mean, we talk to our parents, we have good relationships with our parents, and they are supportive, they are very supportive of, you know, the, the fact that we're trying to give our kids the best, you know, life we can. Um, but things like that, they just don't, you know what I'm saying? It's our household, so I feel like if you're going to homeschool, you're considering it, don't let somebody talk you out of it because they're not in your situation, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't know. But yes, our parents are supportive. Um, of our decisions yes anyway um we're you homeschooled my husband was not at all and i explained you know that i was the last three years so that i can go to the college that i wanted to while i was in high school and so that i can work full time um best advice you've been given or have to give aside from don't let anybody else talk you out of it um just don't get discouraged because i was surprised how many people honestly came out of the woodwork and had negative things to say your kids won't be social and you know all this stuff my kid is like the most is like a social butterfly i mean he gets he's well traveled he goes to conventions he does a lot of stuff with us um just you know just don't let anybody talk about it if you think that's the best thing for your child and only do it if you think it's the best thing for your child really consider like talk to your kid about it even though they may not understand they might kind of help you figure out you know what I'm saying you know anyway um, and don't give up because sometimes there are other options if you want to do charter school or you want to do regular homeschool different things like that there are way different things you know to do and the public library is like the perfect resource for us outside of the house for different classes and things like that so definitely check into that by the way um, whether you're homeschooling or not homeschooling least favorite thing about homeschooling um, Oh wait, yeah, that was first. Okay, no favorite thing about homeschooling. Sorry, um, my son's with me all day. I don't trust anybody with my children, no one with my children, and um, I get to make sure that he's learning everything one on one with me um, because he's a fast learner, and I feel like um, he may not be able to excel as much if he was in a regular public school. And he's just here with me and I feel like that's safe. I love having him around with me. And if he wants to go, you know, do his own thing, which I'm sure he will eventually, probably, um, then I'll let him go. But for now, I just love him being home with me. The least favorite thing about homeschooling, um, I don't know, really, to be honest. Sometimes I feel like there's a lot to get done. But at the same time, if he was in public school, he'd have a lot of homework to do too. So, you know, um, the most annoying comment you've gotten. Um, when I first, this is ridiculous. When I first announced that we were going to homeschool, I actually had somebody comment and say, you know, well, what about field trips? I feel like that is the dumbest question on the planet Earth. What about field trips? What do you, where do you go on field trips? Do you go to the aquarium because we have a season pass do you go to amusement parks or you know philadelphia where the everything was signed and where our first capital was or dc or something because we literally just went to an amusement park and went to philadelphia last month like we go places all the time like you don't have to go i don't understand like where that comment came from i feel like that was kind of just like a dumb like trying to shoot you down kind of comment you know what i'm saying um just yeah or just anybody thinking that they have any business in our business you know what I'm saying it irritated me like if it was one of our parents and they had a certain concern like that's one thing because that's their grandchildren but if you're just some random friend on Facebook that I don't really get to see a lot I don't know it just kind of irritated me you know what I'm saying I did have an, a really overwhelming outpour of support actually also um, on Facebook which whenever we were talking about it on Facebook which made me very happy to see that um one thing 
that has not worked for you. Um, I have to say that I should check and make sure my battery's not dying, by the way. All right, battery not dying. Um, um, I'm trying to think. I try to separate school as much as possible. Um, what I'm trying to do this year um, to make this kind of is like, like you know, this is school. Like this is where we do school, like in here. And then we do like games and stuff like outside of this room. So I'm trying to make um, like certain things, like learning things more like games. Does that make sense to you? Um, and not like school, like school workbooks and stuff can like go in here, learning games and the different activities that are like kind of learning or for school or that go along with what we're learning are done outside of this room, like a game. And then it's like he's doing that schoolwork, but he's not understanding that it's actually schoolwork. He thinks it's just a game or an art project. Do you know what I'm saying? So that he doesn't feel like he's doing like too much schoolwork, but he actually kind of loves doing schoolwork for the most part. He only sometimes is like, all right, I'm done. I wanna watch Minecraft, so yeah. That's another goal of mine, is to somehow incorporate more Minecraft into like math learning and stuff. I've been trying to look, there's a bunch of stuff like that um, on Pinterest. We've been trying to look into that. Um, one thing that has worked for you, um, definitely like the games and stuff, like making it more to like art projects and things. Um, going places and learning, you know, like outside of the house, things like that. Um, and then just like making a space his own, like, you know, to do school, he really likes that also. Just like having his own little space. This was made specifically for him. He got to pick out everything. He got to go on Pinterest. Um, this was not expensive to do. I have a whole like video on it and I'll link it below. There's like a tour and then we did our makeover thing or whatever, but he got to like pick out things and it's like his own little space. You know what I'm saying? He really um, enjoys it. I have something on my phone. I don't know what this is. Okay. Um, what is your homeschool style? Okay, um, we don't have like a normal high school, uh, homeschool. What we decided to do um, for the first couple years is to start with charter school. I know, not technically regular homeschool, but bear with me because we do have a different homeschool curriculum. So hold on. Um, the reason we decided to do both, we're actually kind of doing both curriculums. I'll explain this in a second. The charter school because if he decides in the next few years that he wants to go um, into public school or private school or whatever, the charter school is going to transition flawlessly by grade and everything into school. Um, but the charter school like layout, there's not that many things that you have to do per day. Can you hear my kids out there playing with their dad? Um, so what we're planning on doing is like finishing up um, charter school in three days, maybe four days a week, depending, um, because you only have to do a couple hours a day, if that, because you're catering only to one student or how many kids you have. So you don't have to worry about, you know, a crazy schedule of, you know, eight hours a day or anything crazy like that. So, um, two or three hours per day, three or four days a week, that curriculum, just to get it done and out of the way, because I feel like it's like easy for them to get it done. And then the last day of the week, um, would be curriculum of our choice. There are a couple different curriculums that we've been looking at. Um, Ron Paul actually made a curriculum. I don't know if you know who that is. He ran for president um, and then this past election, his son did. Um, and I'm a fan of his. Um, and he has a whole, um, I forget who he interviewed with. And he was talking about like the different, like homeschool um, versus public school. And I'll try to find that also like below if you're interested. But anyway, um, he has an online curriculum that's actually for free. You can print stuff out and different things like that. Um, if I don't like the curriculum at all from the charter school, I can't guarantee you that he'll stay in charter school versus uh, traditional homeschool. But for now, I'm kind of wanting to try to do the both and balance them if I'm at all possible because of the transition into public school, if that's what he chooses to do um, within a few years. If he doesn't choose to do that, I will probably stick with a regular homeschool. Does that make sense? Anyway, yes, my, we are nowhere near a normal traditional like homeschool, yes, okay. And the last one is, um, does your spouse or partner help you with homeschool? Yes, um, we are both uh, full on wanted to do um, homeschool for different reasons, but the same reasons. If you can hear my kids, they are totally playing with their dad. Anyway, um, and for the most part, I'm like the teacher um, but he does help 
you know, like go over things with them and he reads different things and he read and, you know, we play like the learning games and stuff together. So we're a team, even though I'm the one at home all day with the kids because I work from home. I only work part time, but I work, you know, I'm with the kids and I do all that stuff with them. He is like a big helper. We're like a team with everything, with our kids, with life, things like that. I'm very lucky to have found somebody who is my complete partner in crime because life's just, you know, easier when you have somebody with you like that. So that is it for um, the homeschool tag. The other tag that I saw online is the homeschool tag 2016 and it has different curriculums and different things like that. So I think I'm gonna do that tag next and I'll link it below and you know. But anyway, um, yes, thank you guys for watching and listening to me ramble about homeschool. If you guys are interested, please stay and subscribe. I do DIY and mommy videos and review videos and mommy things and homeschool videos and things like that. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Bye, I love you.